Apologies for my absence today. John had a special association with Rochdale, having spent surprisingly happy times breaking open bales of cotton in the town head mill after leaving his national service. Many years later, he became involved in setting up Tractor Sound Studios, and for the rest of his career gave airplay to innumerable bands and associated studios in Rochdale. Best wishes for today and for the continued success of this project. He wanted to help them because he was always drawn to bands from the north because, uh, because he loved the north of England. John was very generous um, and sometimes actually I used to get quite cross with him because he was sort of over generous and um, at, at a time when we didn't really have an awful lot of money ourselves anyway. But um, if he had a hunch about um, a particular band, uh, he would always want to help them. And, uh, and he always wanted to help the underdog anyway, because that, that, was, that was him. John chose to back Tractor and, and help them financially. He just absolutely loved it, because he didn't have to think about anything. He was, he was breaking up in the Cottondales. And he said that he'd never been more fit in his life, because it's a very you know, tough job. And um, he, he lived in a and b and just used to walk through Rochdale to work. And, and it was a very simple time. And, and just, uh, he said that he just felt really, really good. And, um, and he talked about the mill a lot, actually. Legendary DJ John Peel was renowned for giving many bands their first break. But it seems his generosity knew no limits. And as I found out, the rock music scene here in our region would have been very different without it. The year is 1970 and the hippies are still wearing flowers in their hair. And in Rochdale, three former school friends are about to change the rock music landscape of the Northwest forever. Terry Hall from the Specials, 